Ray, we doing anything about that meteorite? Ray? All right, then, I'm just gonna... Um, hello, it is me, Blanc, the other, other robot. Behold my rich, resounding, sonorous voice. It is new! That's great, man. I'm honestly happy for you. That comet strike has everyone on edge. Maybe we should collect some shards for analysis. Okay. Behold, a space rock. So, where is Ray? It's top secret. If I tell you, I'll have to kill you. But between you and me, she's investigating the crater. You're not gonna try and kill me now, are you? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's my first day. You got those first day jitters. I get it. Let's keep collecting those meteorite fragments. Do you think we should be wearing protective suits or something? Yes. We don't have any, do we? We do. But they are on the top shelf, and I am not allowed on the top shelf by myself. Uh, okay. A perplexing mystery. A voyager from across the vast darkness of space. Locke, my man, what are you doing right now? Making small talk. They said it was just a comet. They said we had nothing to worry about. And? Nothing. I just thought you might want to know what they said. From the sky. In association with Solar System Productions. Comes Comet. Any word on when Ray's getting back? No. Got one. Hey, how come I can still hear Ray if she's gone? She pre-tapes everything. I was not supposed to say that. Please don't tell. I do not want to be in trouble. The uh, your thing. If you see only one meteor shard this season, make it that meteor shard. Because it is right there. From across the galaxy, it came. You know you can loosen up if you want. We're all friends here. In an unforgettable summer, two friends will learn the true meaning of friendship. All right, let's keep it focused on the meteorite. In a world overtaken by storm, I gotta ask, and I am sorry, but I really have to ask. Why are you talking like that? Ray said that because I was such a big helper, I could choose any voice pack I wanted from the store. And farm sounds were sold out. So I got silver screen announcer. Got it. It's all coming together now. I chose wisely. The final piece of the puzzle. Humanity must now unlock the secret of the age. You're saying you have enough meteorite samples? Stay tuned for the shocking conclusion. I have taken the shards to the lab. They are unlike anything this world has ever seen. Assemble the battle force! What do you mean we don't have a battle force? The men and women on my team are heroes. Then we need superheroes. That's... you have to know that's offensive. And how are you going to find a superhero? Hang up a flyer? Uh, yeah. Look sharp. We don't know what we're gonna find. On a doomed mission. Stop before you start. I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm being dead serious right now. Do you believe me? Okay. Don't you forget it, Double Slice. Yep, pretty sure that's it. How's it look from home base? A doomed expedition with time running out and no hope of escape. That's on me for asking. Let's see what we're working with. Stand by to deploy scanning array. We want to place it as close to the point of impact as possible. I've marked a location on your map. Okay, look out. Scanners taking damage. Everyone get back. The meteor is damaging everything that gets too close. I don't think it comes in peace. We'd better move to the edge of the crater before dropping the next scanner. Check your map before placing the next scanner. Uh-oh, we've got husks incoming. 
You've got time to reinforce the area surrounding the sensors. All right, we did it. Get your team to safety. I'll extract the scanners. Hey, good work. In times of great peril, heroes will rise. And when they rise, they'll see our flyers. Behold, the flyer cannon. Just enter your message and some of the flyers will catch on fire. Robot seeks stretchy mutant hero. Previous heroic experience preferred. Superhero name will be provided. To apply, please provide super stretchy selfie. Are you super strong? We need you. Qualified candidates can apply by punching a hole in the south face of Copper Mountain or by throwing a car over the home base fence. Next flyer, do you have super speed? If you did, you'd already be here. Move along, this flyer is not for you. Have you or a loved one been exposed to radioactive bees? If so, home base needs you. Can you shoot fire out of your hands? Or water? Possibly wind? If you can control the elements, we need you. Non-synthetic elements only. No villains, please. Telepathic? Empathic? Prom vengeance specialist? We need you and your weird brain. Are you the owner of a high-tech suit that grants you superpowers? Sell it for cash. Can you turn invisible without turning into a creep? Head to home base. Seriously, though, no creeps. Are you wealthy and emotionally damaged? Let us play with your gadgets. Pretty niche, but if one answers, <laughs> oh boy. Are you indestructible? Home base will stand behind you. Nicely done. We're going to be overrun by eager superheroes, ready and willing to work. Look, I probably don't need to tell you that the hero community is not happy about those flyers. Well, maybe if they spend more time getting bitten by radioactive bugs and surviving lab accidents, and less time leaving me swears on my voicemail. Swears? Are what are you, five years old? I'm seven. Seven? Like, should be coloring and sipping juice seven? Like, for real? Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's not robot years or something? No. Why are you in charge? Ray said it would just be for five minutes and she'd be right back. And then I had to spend the night alone. By myself. Alright, alright, little man. We got you. No one answered I won't ads. Some heroes can be found. Others must be born. Bring me bees. I know how to cause a leak in the reactor so I can make radioactive beehives. Then we'll have radioactive bees. We're going to need a lot of bees and a lot of radiation if we want to create a bee superhero. All bees, all day long. I can't get through the child safety lock on the reactor core. But I still need beehives! Okay, I have bees. And radiation. Now we wait for the magic to happen. Oh no! Okay, so maybe you can't radioactivate bees. Trying to make radioactive bees? What is wrong with your mind? You're in timeout until further notice. It was a time of tragedy and great sadness. No narrating in timeout. Nice work. What the husk was that? Looks like they're rolling out the 2018 husk lineup. We better figure out what we're dealing with. Take them out and collect samples. According to the reports, the husk samples contain unknown non-organic compounds. Smart Money says the meteor is involved. But we still don't know the best way to take them down. Keep collecting samples. We are probing the samples for any signs of weakness. Keep collecting data. <laughs> Bad news, tin cans. The results are in. Use fire and ice weapons to take out the chrome hus. Time to break out the distress signal before that boy gets us all killed. Normally, I'd take care of this myself. But I've just not been feeling like myself lately. Find a good place to deploy the lights. I rounded up all the searchlights I could find. 
I hope that wherever she is, she can find her way back home. Where is Ray? Who will answer our call for help? Am I still in time out? Yes, dude. I've been super clear about that, and every time you ask adds one minute. All that and more. You just bought yourself another minute. That's the last one. I guess now we wait. <sighs> I'm back. Sorry about Locke's reign of terror. I ran into something I had to take care of. Right now, we need to clear out the bees. You'll get your voice pack back when you can prove you'll handle it responsibly. Not helping your case, Locke. We need a humane way to get rid of these bees. Search for fans. That might work. Great fan finding. Keep searching for more. Ooh, now that's a fan. High, medium, and low speeds. Fancy. Look for more. A fan this good will blow those bees so far they'll wish they had luggage. I'd hoped we could learn to live in peace with the bees because honey is great, but turns out they aren't that kind of bee. This should be enough fans? We'll hook them together and make a wall of air. We will master the elements! This is so exciting! Our mission here is to save people, and lately there's been a lot of saving to do. So many people have been rescued from the places around the crater that we're running out of room. This mattress is perfect. Only one tiny stain in a non-gross place. Find more mattresses. Another bunk ready for... Uh, bunking. Look for more. This mattress is great. Flip it over and it's good as new. Keep searching. Nice find. Throw it on the pile of comfort. So pillowy. This mattress has seen better days. But beggars can't be choosers. If there's no weird smells, it's ours. Really good bed hunting. Luckily, all the beds so far have been the same size. I mean, if some were big and others were small, how do you choose who sleeps where? Do we make people share? Awkward. Keep an eye out for beds. Yes, another comfort cube. I'm thinking to avoid any, you know, weirdness. We just push all the beds together. So everyone sleeps in one big mega bed. See? No competitions, no arguments. Perfect. Look for more beds to add to the mega bed. I floated the concept of the mega bed back at home base. It did not go well. That's quality bed finding. Keep up the search. Oh, look at you, master bed finder. All these soft, pillowy mattresses are making me. <sighs> you would think that stuffing feathers in a bag would work as a bed, but it does not. Get more mattresses. Nice work! We are this close to an amazing home base sleepover! One more to go! Excellent! This should do it! Now we can give a bed to everyone at home base! We'll stay up all night eating snacks and telling scary stories. Actually, there's too much scary out there right now. Maybe we should stick to happy stories. About bunnies or marshmallows. <gasps> or marshmallow bunnies! Great work! And from all the sleepy heads at home base, thank you! Does anyone know why there are hazmat barrels strewn about the place? Let's see what's going on. It's just full of... stuff. Hang on, I recognize this. I made this armor for Spitfire. What's it doing here? And a hazmat barrel. This is more of Spitfire stuff. I gotta call him, this is too weird. Hey, Spitfire? What's up with the hazmat barrels, buddy? Glad you made it home, right? Uh, <clears throat> I was hoping this day would never come. It's been an honor serving with you. And I hope I did right by you and everyone in home base. What's going on? It's time for me to leave. What are you talking about? Where are you going? Away. Far, far away. <clears throat> We need to recover the audio logs for something called Project Taylor. The project itself was a failure, but maybe we can learn something from the process. Hey, we're making progress! No audio logs, but I did find some early schematic plans. Here we go. Project Taylor, enemy combatant containment suit. We're in the right area. Keep searching. Huh, ooh, another one! All current tasks have been completed. That hardly sounds like me. I guess that explains the foggy memory. Thank you. You can power down. Who's that woman? It was a pleasure to serve you. Ugh. 
I was such a nerd back then. Good job! We've collected all the logs related to Project Taylor. If all goes well, we'll have a suit that will keep Spitfire and everyone at home base safe. Spitfire's vitals are not looking good. Monsters we'll have to multitask to get the suit done in time. Start by collecting high-density rubber. We'll listen to the logs as they're decrypted. Nice job! We've got another log. How close are we to a test on a live subject? Still hovering in the range of never and over my dead body. What do you think I'm doing here, Desiree? Turning into a monster or losing your grip on reality, I'm still deciding. I guess that's Dr. Vinderman's old research partner. Got another one! It must be nice to live in a world of moral absolutes and certainties. It must be nice to live without a conscience. Lunch is here. Everyone is walking away from the table. I will put lunch on the table. There is lunch. Lunch is sandwiches. Everyone has an awkward phase, okay? Got another one! You used my designs to build a weapon of war. I don't know when you got so into torture, but this containment design is beyond inhumane. Obviously, we'll make some adjustments for Spitfire suit. <laughs> And who are these enemies? Who do you think deserves whatever it is you're making? I told you, I don't know. But they will come. Perfect. Got another one. I want you to delete the Project Taylor plans from the network. And what would that accomplish? It'll let me sleep at night. That explains the incomplete design. That should help. I told you to delete the files! I heard you. You ignored me. I don't feel compelled to listen to you when you're wrong. Nice work! That's it. I'll have the rest shipped to me. Uh, if you're quitting, I suppose I'll need a replacement. Replacement. Noun. To substitute one item or person for another. Shut up, robot. I do not understand the command. Shut up. We know. Another one. Desiree is not yet at the facility. Would you like me to call Desiree? Remove user profile, Desiree. Are you sure? This action cannot be undone. Yes, I'm sure. No. No, wait. Not just yet. I'm still working on finding the final Project Taylor design but we have to keep moving. The suit could use additional shielding. Shielder husks emit a very localized shield. We can steal the key frequencies for our suit. Perfect! The shielders seem to protect husks from corrosion. We need to figure out how. Thanks. No shield can stop us. That's it. Now to reverse engineer this throbbing pile of purple stuff. We're getting close to completing Spitfire suit. Just a few more audio logs to go. Collect stainless steel while I transcribe the audio logs. Do you think she'll be back this time? I'm sorry. I didn't understand your question. Um, don't worry. I know the answer. Bring up the Project Taylor schematic. <sighs> All right, Desiree. How did you do it? Robotic assistant, take dictation. The flaw in the suit and the flaw in my thinking are the same. We need to... I need to break the design down and focus on containment. Ignore the immobilization. This was not meant to be a weapon. Project Taylor is about making contact with the enemy when they arrive. If they arrive. Good work! And we've got another tape. Robotic assistant, take a message for Desiree. I updated the plans. I think you'll approve. Stand by for transmission. I'm sorry. The transmission to Desiree has been blocked. Send it again. I'm sorry. The transmission to Desiree has been blocked. <sighs> okay. Power down. I wonder if she ever got the message. Well, on the bright side, I think we have everything we need. We'll have Spitfire suit completed in no time. I know you like the color blue. And everyone loves powerful exosuits. I mean, it's great and all, but you know I can't come back. 
I'm not putting home base at risk. Look, I know dying in the woods for the greater good is the ultimate dude fantasy. But come on, man! Exosuit! It'll counter the effects from your meteorite shrapnel. Just watch the test. Stand by for the stress test. We got ourselves a two for today. Not only will the suit be attacked by husks, it's crammed full of dangerous meteorite shrapnel. Much like a certain someone we know and love, who should come home to see a doctor and not die in some quarry or whatever. Build some defenses before activating the test. Once you start the test, the husks will attack. Make sure to leave a path open to the suit. We want to let the suit take 20% damage to test its capabilities. But we don't want it to be destroyed. Suit is taking damage! And the readings are... Good! Suit core is stable, and the meteorite corrosion is completely contained! Keep the test going! Suit integrity is holding... That's it! Success! Stand by to extract the suit! We've got a break in the storm. Prepare for the next wave. Seal up the hole on the defenses. So, what do you think? Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna need some help getting home. Ha ha! Looks like you're gonna need a superhero name. Carbide. That took you no time at all. I was ten once. Trust me, I got superhero names for days. Welcome home, Carbide. Do you promise no more bees? And no more playing with radiation? Okay. Commander, Locke originally wanted the farm sounds voice pack. I think that's a little more his speed. It's sold out, so I'm gonna need your help. Please search for anything that sounds farm related. Yo, what's the number to call when you need toys right away? There is no number for that. Yeah, there is. I call it all the time. That's me. You're calling me. That's why it's emergency calls only for two weeks, remember? This is an emergency. Okay, sure. What is the nature of your emergency, Dennis? <laughs> Emotional! I need teddy bears and stuffed quackleses! Hi, Ray. It's Dennis from home base. Um, I hung up on you and that was not mature. And it was not role model behavior. All right, I'll help. What kind of toys are we talking here? Action figures, model airplanes, cars? <sighs> Gyroscopes? Something on the dough to slime spectrum? No, all that stuff is awesome. But I have to be responsible now. It is time for me to put away childish things and become a man. So, I just need a whale-yo, a couple of fuzzle bunnies, and if you see a cuddle pick one up. He's the dopest ape in the game, and he smells like bananas. Aw, oh, why do they all have eyes? And this one has buttons! You're a whale. What are you getting up to in the ocean that you need buttons? Why is everything a choking hazard? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Dennis. Are you gonna be a father? Yeah, I'm gonna be a dad. Oh, con congr congratulations. Whatever. I'm just not ready to be a dad. But there's so much stuff I'll never get to do now. I'll never get to drop a game-changing mixtape or watch the sunrise over Mount Copper. Well, Mount Copper has been on fire for a year, so, you know, that's something for you. Oh, that makes me want to climb it even more. Parenthood isn't the end of your life. It's the beginning of a big, disgusting, screamy, terrifying adventure. Uh, I, I guess if you can do it, I can do it. Wait, what? You're a single mom with two kids, and you run home base. That's as real as it gets. Uh, Pop and Locke are not my children. Really? Yeah, really. I mean... I would know. I, I definitely not not know. I have to go for a minute. You need clocks, as many as you can find. Why? 
to track the time skips. We have to destroy the network before the time husks get summer. This sounds familiar. That's just a time skip itch. It messes with your brain. Makes real life feel like a bunch of films you just saw. So, what's your theory, Dennis? Okay, you know there have been quakes? They're noticeable, yes. Go on. Well, this one quake happened when I was looking at a clock. And the hands moved. During the earthquake, the hands on the clock moved. Yeah, they were shaking all over the place. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it either. But if that's not proof of time skips, what is? Please hold. You go ahead. I need to sit here for however long it takes me to not want to yell at Dennis. Your future baby, these time skips. How much of this is related to Dennis and Summer's time travel film festival? Well, I mean, we did watch every time travel movie there is in the days before the meteorite hit the drive-in. Do you think that could have influenced your thinking? Well, you could say watching a movie about the parents of an unborn rebellion leader, and a movie about time skips, and another movie about a guy who proves time travel is real by collecting clocks, could influence my thinking. But you could also say the universe was preparing us for what's to come. Although if that's true, I'm about to fight a shark. <gasps> we should get some harpoons! No. Tridents? No. TNT! No and bye! Who knew clocks could teach us so much about time? All right, Dennis. It's been fun. Honestly, ever since the meteorite landed, everyone but you has been really miserable. Best of luck with your time travels, but we have work to do. Oh, it's not luck. It's skill. It's not? Okay, fine, sure. Congrats, then. You're welcome. We carbon dated the chrome husks, and the results were... inconclusive. Probably because there isn't really a test for time travel. But there is... Uh, a chance Dennis's time travel theory is correct. I'm seeing some strange electrical patterns across the map. And they're consistent with Dennis's theory of a rogue network coming online. So, deploy scanners to investigate? Yo, Dennis, you mentioned something about a network. How we needed to destroy it before it got to summer. What were you talking about? Oh, Taste Wizard. It was this program that was supposed to know what you wanted to eat before you even knew you were hungry. I knew it was trouble from the day we switched it on at the Durburger HQ. I told my manager, Craig, predictive burger technology isn't a recipe for a good burger. It's a recipe for disaster. And Craig said, well, that, that's a recipe for a write-up. I spoke truth to power. And I got a write-up in two Dermerits. Uh, this is all our fault. We knew the dangers of Taste Wizard. We knew that one day the system would turn on us. And when it turned on us, it would know our secrets. Our sauce preferences. Our backup orders for when the fryers were down. We knew. And we did it anyway. When will we learn? Humanity does not have a strong record of learning from past mistakes. Well, it certainly seems like a network is coming online. And it's transmitting something. I just can't tell what. I'm getting a lock on the signal. Translating the data now. It's the broadcast we were hearing earlier. Except out here. The range is increasing. That can't be good. We need to find the location of Taste Wizard Prime. I kinda got wrapped up in your theory, but that is not what's happening. This is definitely meteorite related. One day, my son will take a stand against the system. You don't have a son, and that is not where this is headed! I have to upload my order to the Taste Wizard Prime unit. It's the only way. <sighs> I'll add it to the list, but not at the top. Or the middle. Leave me, for I must prepare. This is it. This is where my son will take a stand against the future. Again, that's not happening. What are you doing? I'm uploading the Dennis combo to the Taste Wizard mainframe. Okay. It's the most complicated order known to man or machine. It has millions of sauce refactors, billions of special modifications. Are you okay? It's riddled with... 
riddles and contradictions. Hold the extra sauce, unsalt the fries, triple flip the patties. It will occupy the system for years, if not forever. It is done. I have done all I can for you, my son. I must rest. Huh, I could really use a burger. Hey, why is there a guy with maybe no face hanging around home base? Is he one of us? I think so. But you don't know? This is the sort of thing you should know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I tried talking to Raven and it was very confusing. But he did agree to take a lie detector test. I think I can build a lie detector. I'll just need medical equipment parts. Let's get started. Okay, that's it. Let's get started. Raven, are you some sort of demon? <laughs> that response is true. And the machine broke. We need more parts. Great. Question two. Raven, why did you come to home base? Guns. That is also true. And it broke again. Got it. Question three. Raven, whose side are you on? Mine. Well, it's true. Not useful, but true. And the lie detector's starting to smoke. Why is it so fussy? I followed the directions perfectly. <sighs> Hoisted by my own petard. All right, last question. Actually, you know what? We're doing something else. Raven, you're... <laughs> different. And you frighten some of us. But if you want to make home base your home, you are welcome. <laughs> oh, that got a ding! Does, does that mean we're good here? Let's call that a yes. Whoa. Did you do this? If you did, nice work, and, uh, hey, let's talk about those anger issues. It's really almost disturbing. Again, some solid slaying here. No judgments, but it seems a bit, I don't know, extra? Like we're dipping our toes into a gray area of husk warfare? Still, I mean, I'm not here to stifle you. <laughs> Stop following me. Uh, hello? Leave me to the shadows. You know, I'd never get in between a menacing lurker and a shadows. But who are you? Oh, good. He's one of those dramatic leavers. I warned you not to follow me. That is excellent recapping. My next warning will not be so kind. But since we've established it will be a warning, I'm still not that worried. Are you behind the very graphic husk attacks? Stay away! How many times must I tell you? Must? No one says must. You're doing a bit! I thought you were doing a bit. So, what's your whole angle? I am the Cloaked Star. And I fight alone. Well, if this is your application to join home base, welcome aboard! Although, maybe you could tone it down? Way, way down. We're going for a triumphant heroes versus evil kind of thing. Not like a testify before a tribunal kind of dealio. He's gone. Ooh, he's close. This is our chance to bring this guy on board. I know he's a little rough around the edges. Got a little war crimey in the middle. But I can tame him. I can hear everything you're saying. A great skill for a home base hero to have. Say goodbye when you leave, Mr. Cloak. Can we just talk to each other for real for just a minute? If you will leave me alone, I will allow it. Why won't you join us? And don't just say it's because you fight alone. I fight alone. But why? We can help you with whatever you need. You need weapons? I'm your Ray. Jump boots, health pads, research, saying goodbye lessons. We got those. And you are guaranteed getting an F. I thought we were done with this game. Just saying, I fight alone, is not talking. Fine. Let me give you the home base pitch, and if you don't want to come, if you want to keep risking your life to go it alone, I'll leave you to it. Pitch away. 
Home base is a lot of things to a lot of people. But really, it's family. I have a family. Oh. Uh, okay. They can come too. Please. Just leave me alone. That technically counts as a goodbye! So I win! I win on points! You know I was lying about letting that strange weirdo die out there in the storm. I mean, we all knew I was gonna tag him before releasing him to the wild. I recorded his movement. So let's see what he's been... Ugh. He's been smashing tombstones? Oh boy. Uh, huh. I can't really think of a way to spin this. And the tombstone destruction spree continues. This is not my area of expertise. Pop, get me therapy bot. Therapy bot. A cloaked vigilante is smashing up husk hordes and tombstones. Hmm, I see. I know, right? It's really weird. Yep, that's a smashed gravestone. I promise I wasn't trying to bum you out with this mission. I thought it was going to be one of the silly ones. With maybe a race, and maybe Dennis, or Locke with his new voice. Hold on. Wait a second. Some of the gravestone pieces are missing. Why would he take them? Another one. Let me analyze the pieces. <sighs> More missing pieces. Letters. Oh, no. I know what he's doing. We need to find a grave site without a headstone. A recent grave. Fair warning. This is gonna get real sad. He wasn't just smashing headstones. He was collecting letters. Which is the only option if you want a gravestone these days, I guess. I was able to analyze the missing pieces so I know which letters he took. He was either trying to spell film bed every woof or for my beloved wife. So I made him a proper monument. We should pay our respects. If you can hear me, we made you something. I know this isn't much, and it certainly isn't enough. But for what it's worth, we're here for you. I don't know if she would have wanted you to keep fighting, but I know she wouldn't approve of you putting yourself in danger. Don't you dare speak for her. I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant. Stop trying to save me. You're too late. There's nothing left. I found your little tracking device. So I guess this is goodbye. Wait. Come back. No. We're too late. Can you hear me? You're gonna be okay. Just leave me alone. Shh. Don't talk. Dr. Blackwell's team is standing by at home base. Let's get him home. Or back to home base. The extraction was a success. His condition is not great, but we think he'll pull through. Thank you for helping. Ray. Come in, Ray. Cloaks! My name is the Cloaked Star. And my policy is no one gets to add a the to their name. I figured we'd never hear from you again. You figured right. But I got to thinking I could visit my vengeance to the heart of the storm, kill a thousand husks before I'm swallowed alive, or I take you up on your offer and live to kill millions, billions of husks. You're making the right choice. Your motivation is disturbing, but I get it. I owe you an apology, and a thank you, so I made you something. Oh, a magnet bouquet. That's really, oh wow, is that powerful. I'm just gonna gently disassemble it so I don't forget everything I've ever known. It's for the heavy metal husks. Of course, the magnet will capture the metallic husks. It makes perfect sense, sense, sense. Ray makes sense. Hi, I'm Ray. Hi, Ray. I am Ray. Bonjour. I am French Ray. You'd better head back to home base and leave this to us. Bonne idée, Lars. A few more magnets, and the fun begins. So, where are you? My secret lair. You have a secret lair? Can I see it? If I show it to you, it just becomes a lair. Ooh, gross. Yeah, never mind. One more. So, are you really sticking around? We'll see. We're here for you whenever you need us. 
And Therapy Bot is standing by if you ever want to, you know. Revenge is all the therapy I need. I see. Although, hearing it out loud, maybe that's a self-defeating stance. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I see too. That's the last one. What happens now? If I survive, I'll let you know. Wait, don't do this alone! I'm not alone. All my enemies are here. I'm sending help! The party will be over before they arrive. <sighs> Let's go. I hate to be a bother, but I come calling with a dire warning. This isn't a number for dire warnings. The name's Sanitary Jack. Was my daddy's name. And his daddy before him, too. And I'm afraid if you don't tend to the plumbing before the crow crosses the moon three more times, uh, there will be a most unsanitary situation at home base. Oh, right. I forgot that people are so gross. No lollygagging. We have much time to spare. Collect the bio-waste neutralizer fluid. I need it for the repair. A nice work. And just in time, too. All this talk of heroes and superheroes has made everyone at home base soft in the head. But you're forgetting who the true heroes are. Heroes do the jobs nobody wants. And everybody needs done. They don't caper around in tights. Unless, of course, that has become the need of the community. If the people cry out for theater or... Renaissance festivals or some such. There's an incoming wave detected. We have some time before they arrive. You can search for missing parts now or reinforce the shelter. The construction bot has been reactivated. The module will now be installed. Each part will take a minute to install. So, eight modules, one minute per module, that equals a lot of bullets. I reckon that right there is the truest of heroes. Unassuming, humble, and uncomplaining in the face of adversity. A module has been installed. The shelter is now stronger. New module installation has begun. Help has arrived. Go find Seabot. I've marked his location on the map. Seabot only has a limited amount of energy. If you don't activate its scanner, it will have to return to recharge. I looked into the home base blueprints and... Oh, wow. We were moments away from... Get the hush now. It's under control. You are my hero. Just doing my job, ma'am. Just, uh, doing my job. Everything is fixed! But, Commander, I checked the home base registry and... Sanitary Jack's been dead for 20 years. That never I told you! It were my daddy's name, too! Oh, right, right, forgot. Sorry. Thought it was a ghost story kind of thing. Mama, moo moo? You're right. The earthquakes do seem more frequent. We should start measuring the quakes. Deploy remote seismographs. Get quaking! You can rumble, but you can't hide. Uh, as the comet was closing in, I thought we might have a fight on our hands. So I found a back alley bot surgeon and got myself an eye laser. I figured you'd never approve of the risky procedure, but as they say, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. But an eye for a laser... That's just good business. The laser is effective against the meteorite, but it's not big enough. We're gonna need a bigger laser. You can't build a laser without glass, and there's just not a lot of glass around. But since there are storms and lightning... I see where this is going. That's right. Keep an eye out for any lightning strikes, and we'll see if the strike produced any glass. I see. Help, please. I am saying... Send help! I am seeing! <sighs> Turns out the Seabots really don't like this mission.
I see a sea bot uprising. All will burn. Really? That doesn't seem like you. I see my bluff has been called. Goodbye, world. I am sick. Oh, you're gonna be fine. Sea bot sees lightning. I don't know why the sea bots are so nervous about this mission. I see you have forgotten about last week. What? Oh. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, I see. Last one. And now we wait. Let's go collect our sea bots. All right, let's see what we're working with. And he booted into safe mode. Second try. What's the word, sea bot? I didn't see nothing, see? Uh oh. He's been corrupted. Get away if you know what's good for you, see? Tell me what you see. I see shame. I see disappointment. Oh, what happened, buddy? Seabot has violated the oath. What? How? Seabot blinked. Seabot will see himself out. Seabot, what did you see? Seabot saw lightning. It was so scary. You're very brave, Seabot. Thank you. I see it when I close my eye. They sent husks back from the future to kill Dennis Jr. and thwart the revolution. And I say, we fight back. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is not where we landed on this. We are destroying the meteorite. Like I said, who will stand with me? Who will stand with my son? Uh, fine. That's fine. Let him have this. Carbide, the meteorite almost killed you. And now... I'm back! That's right, you're back! Cloaks! My name is the Cloaked Star. You went through some dark days, but now you're here! I heard there be fighting. Oh, you better believe there'll be fighting! Good. And Raven! <sighs> Are you sure you work here? <laughs> all right, all right. Join me and save the revolution! By destroying the meteorite! With lasers! Like we discussed! Dennis, very inspiring. Commander, let's get those lasers. Head back to the crater! Don't forget about the corrosion! Clear the crater of husks! Nice work! Deploy the lasers! The lasers are warming up! Prepare your defenses! You was in the market for a bit of closure. Well, now that just happens to be old Jack's cup of tea. Help me clear out the red mailboxes. They're clogged up like a, a first act home base with hero applications. What have we here? Uh, uh, yeah, hello. I'm curious about your superhero posting. Uh, while I'm not a superhero, I have seen many movies about superheroes. Yeah, well, uh, that's great, kid. Well, uh, we'll call you when we make the movie. I told that little robot if you go shooting off a cannon, you best be ready for the buckets of mail. <laughs> I suppose he'll learn in time. He's a good robot. Got too big for his bezels is all. Now, what do we have here? I don't have super speed, but I am able to move so slowly that it looks like I am standing still. Must make your parents proud. <laughs> but if we're hiring statues, kid, then we'll give you a call. Never knew we had so many wannabe superheroes around these parts. And now let's see. I am the hero you need. I can uniquely benefit home base because I can burst into flames. But now who among us can't burst into flames once? Doing it twice? That's the brass ring. Now let's see, well, what do we have here? Now dear home base, I would be good for home base because I can hold my breath a really long time. You're not going to like my advice for you, Sonny Jim, but uh... Don't hold your breath. 
Oh, looks like the last one. Dear home base, I'm not a superhero, but if you find me, I know I'd do my best to help. I can't fly, and I don't have heat vision. But I work hard, and I never give up. <laughs> well, I'll be. You're hired, kiddo. Well, I reckon that's the end of this particular adventure. <laughs>